Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Cartesian system. Okay, so let's see how it is made. So if you see, we have we already know number line where we say that these numbers are represented in a line. So this point represents 1, this point represents 2, 3, 4, these points minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like that. So what he did was, he took this number line in a horizontal fashion, he created one more horizontal uh, number line in a vertical fashion. Okay. These two number lines, if you see, are perpendicular to each other. And then, he placed these number lines such a way that they are perpendicular to each other in this fashion. Okay. And these two lines are meeting at this point. Okay. So if you see these lines, these uh, two perpendicular lines, this is x, x dash axis, this is y, y dash axis. These two are number lines actually and they are two perpendicular number lines and they are meeting at each other. And it is assumed that the point where they meet is origin. This point is called origin. Okay. Origin. That is 0, 0,0. So this is assumed. Okay. So the way we assume that this point is 0 in number line. So we assume that. So we'll have two number lines and we'll merge these two such that these two points are overlapping and they are perpendicular. So this point is 0, 0. So if you see here, if you move from this point towards your right, you will see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in a positive number. Similar to number line. If you move from this point towards left, you will see a negative number. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Similar to this. If you move up, since you are moving up, if you are going high in the class, your value increase. So if you move up, it is increasing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that. If you move down, you're going down, you're, you're deteriorating. So it becomes minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Right? So please pay attention here. This is a very critical concept. This was whole designed by uh, René Descartes. Here, he's saying that this is a positive x-axis, this side. Why? Because this part of x-axis, in fact, if you see this, this horizontal line, x, x dash, he called this line as this whole line is x-axis. This whole line. And this line he called as y-axis. So let me put it here. This is called x-axis. And this line he called y-axis. Okay. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. Again, this is his convention. So please pay attention here. There is no reason why this is called x, why it is called y. This is just the way Trina Descartes has designed the system. This is x-axis, this is y-axis. Please pay attention. This is x-axis, this is y-axis. He further broke this x-axis into y and y-axis as these part, if you see left to right, has all positive numbers. So this he called this as positive x-axis. All negative numbers in x-axis called negative x-axis. Similarly, this side has all positive number in y-axis. He called this as positive y-axis. All negative number in y-axis negative y-axis and point where these two axes meet is called origin and this is 0 comma 0 by convention this is denoted by o or you can see o o or 0 right okay so that is what he designed once again x-axis y-axis meet at a point 0 called origin positive of point of x axis is called positive x axis the negative side of x axis is called negative x axis the positive side of y axis is called positive y axis the negative side of y axis is called negative y axis okay and these are all perpendicular so you see this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 and if you see here in this case we are talking only about two coordinates x and y so if we go to the higher classes you we'll talk about the third coordinates also that is z 
So you see, if you go to the higher class, not in this class. So we have we talked about x and y now. This was one. You see, this is what we drew. This is what we drew in the okay. But this part z is something which we didn't draw. This you will study in higher class, not now. Okay. So in this class, what we had, we had x and y. So you see, these were my positive x-axis. This is negative x-axis. Positive y-axis, negative y-axis, zero zero origin. Okay, and this is used to plot points. For example, if you see these points are plotted, these points are plotted. Okay, blue, red, and green. So this point is denoted by two comma three, minus three and one, and this is minus one point five and minus two point five. So let's focus on this. Why it is called two and three? So to denote this. To note this actually, he'll use this term called abscissa and ordinate. So let, let's talk about these abscissa and ordinate. Before that, let's talk about the various quadrants. So if you see, since this is a positive x-axis, this is positive y-axis, negative x-axis, negative y-axis. So actually, if you see the whole uh, Cartesian system, you can break into four quadrants. Okay, and we'll see that this quad quadrant one will have something where x and y both are positive. This quadrant will have something where here if you see x is negative and y positive. Here is x positive, y also positive. Talk about this here fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative this one if you see x is negative y is negative sometimes you see equations where they'll give the coordinates and they'll tell you tell me which coordinate it belongs to we will see that later just understand that they are four coordinates and will they under, help you understand uh, these things once again just understand that this cartesian system thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.